What's up there, fellow YouTubers? This is Chris from the Mars Anomalies channel. Um, um, yeah, it's been a few days since I've done a video for you guys. Um, so I figured I'd jump right in there. i got a few coming up. In fact, I'm going to try to knock out another besides this one. Um, pretty, cool, pretty good stuff there. I had a subscriber. It goes by DocWalk9. And I'm going to give him props for it. He gave me a link yesterday, I believe it was. Um, and it's uh, about NASA being sued. Got to love it. Um, and you know, and I'm, and I think that's great. Um, so he gave me that, and I want to give him props because I, you know, I thank uh, people, uh, give him credit where it's due, um, no doubt. Um, that's what I love about my subscribers. You guys are on this stuff like like a bad rash, and that's what I love about it, man. It's like rock and roll. Find this stuff. Let's find the truth together. Uh, we may not have all the answers. I don't. You know, we can take guesses. We're not there. So, um, but let me show you this. This is this is good. Man sues NASA for failing to investigate alien life on Mars. Now, the good thing about this, I wanted to see if this was like the real deal. So I just put on there, go to Google. I mean, just, just put in there, lawsuit against NASA. And this is what I found. Daily Mail in the UK. Science writer fi uh, you know, files lawsuit against NASA after it failed to, and you can read that. TheBlaze.com. Houston Chronicle, Popular Science. I mean, look at this. <laughs> lawsuit alleges NASA is failing to investigate alien life. I mean, it goes on and on and on. So it's not just one place, you know, you know, saying this news, uh, just trying to tell it. I mean, it's it's not some kind of, you know, fake, you know. Um, and if you guys remember correctly, or the ones that will, if you guys remember, at least my subscribers would, but uh, I did this about a week ago, and I got Mysterious Rock Appears Near Mars uh, Rover Opportunity. Um, I I love the, that they had this side-by-side um, -side picture, so to speak, Um I went into this and I checked this out myself. Now, here's the wild part. You ever notice there's, like, there's when there's an anomaly there, it's always a bright picture. You look at the left, eh, looks like the, you know, like most of the pictures they have. It's like a kind of brownish or, or reddish kind of thing. Not too bright. Secondly, there's something that's there or something they're trying to hide. Suddenly, it's like this big ray of sunshine just happens to be right in front of the rover. Uh, or it's just super contrast because you can spot, um, you know, like uh, contrast you know, like I can use any manipulation software and just use, just get a spot I want to high, highly contrast and do that. Um, contrasting, I've seen plenty of these pictures, and what they try to do is hide detail in a lot of these things. So that's why if, if you watch this video, I actually invert it, and I actually talk about this rock, so to speak, and I say that you can see there's different features, like things sticking out of it, so to speak, and um, you can't really tell what it is. Um, but underneath, I also do that other lighted spot that, f that looks like a shale, uh, like a flat rock in the ground, and it looks like molten pots. I mean, it just is, it doesn't look like a typical rock. Let's just put it this way. So guys, check that out, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Um, so anyway, I, I thought this is wild because uh, I, I love it. You know, to me, it's a, it's a milestone. If this guy actually wins in court, okay, if he wins in court, that's a huge milestone because here's the thing. More people can jump on board and say, hey, while you're at it, why don't you divulge the truth about the rest of what's going on? Now, of course, NASA's huge. You know, it's the government. Whether this guy, he might just say, hey, they might just say, hey, guys, we already gave you the rock composition. It's the rock. You know? I mean, the guy's not an idiot, though. And like I said, I've seen a side-by-side -side comparison. Um, uh, it was on a site. I forgot which one it was. But it showed, like, um, and it might have been one of my subscribers gave it to me, the link. But it showed, like, uh, a fungus-type thing here on Earth. And on the left, it had the Mars one. And you can clearly see they almost looked identical. So, yeah, it's no wonder why this guy's, uh, you know, really questioning this stuff. So, I get it. It uh, Okay, it reads as, Last week, NASA announced that the Mars rover Opportunity had stumbled upon a mysterious rock that seemed to appear out of nowhere. While the rock did have, uh, <coughs> excuse me, have quite a unique composition, it was likely knocked into place by the rover as it maneuvered around the area, which I said was bogus. I mean, it's not like this thing's flying around. It's not like it's at a higher rate of speed over this... Uh, uh, terrain. It's it, they crawl. These things crawl along the uh, the ground itself. So it's highly unlikely that this thing just happened to kick this up. Um, there is still much to be understood about the rock, but one man is filing a lawsuit against the space administration for failing to identify the fact that it was an extraterrestrial life form, according to him. Uh, Ron Joseph is a petitioner in the case. He has authored several books on a variety of topics, including terrorist <clears throat> the terrorist attacks on September 11th. Uh, biological UFOs and neurophysiology. Phys it seemed to me he had another book too, and I don't remember what it was because I've, I've read about this guy, you know, real quickly, and it seemed like he had something else too. His views on the origin of life on on Earth has been described as eccentric, and he is <clears throat> and he is connected to the Journal of Cosmology, 
which has published papers dealing with extraterrestrial life on, I don't know why it says on, on, life on more than one occasion. Okay. Well, I get why they do it, but anyway. Uh, the petition filed in California court takes him uh, takes aim at the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, which is NASA, of course, and Chief Administrator Charles Bolden, calling for a writ of Amanda, uh, mandamus for NASA to investigate the putative biological organism more closely. Apparently, Joseph feels that the mysterious rock is not a rock at all, and it wasn't randomly knocked into its present location. Instead, according to the lawsuit, the object is actually an alien organism, uh, organism sorry, that was there the entire time, but grew over the course of those 12 Martian sols to its present size. And I actually said that in my video, too, because the opportunity takes, it takes a picture before it goes to sleep and shuts down uh, in the course of those 12 days, wakes back up, takes a picture, and there this so-called rock is supposed to be sitting. So, yeah, uh, Joseph believes the object is actually a mushroom-like fungus that reproduces with spores. Okay. Which, you know, if there's one, there's more than one. Uh, there's many. Um, his petition would demand that the opportunity take a hundred close-up, high-definition, which that's a joke in itself because you'll never see a high-definition picture, uh, snapshots for a variety of angles, from a variety of angles, rather, along with 24 microscopic shots of various angles. The petition would also require the images to be publicized, and he would get direct access to them. The fact that these images haven't already been uh, taken is described in the, as, I'm sorry, in the petition as inexplicable, recklessly negligent, and bizarre. I can't get my tongue to work today. A bit of the name-calling takes place, as Joseph states that any intelligent adult, adolescent, child, chimpanzee, monkey, dog, or rodent, and even a modicum, a modicum uh, of curiosity uh, would approach. Uh, investigate and closely examine a bowl-shaped structure which appears just a few feet in front of them when 12 days earlier they hadn't uh, noticed it. So, yeah, it makes sense to me. I mean, you know, you know why? I think they are actually examining it. I mean, they're just going to show the pictures. They want to just, you know, uh, throw at the public. But you know they looked this thing over. Come on. Uh, they don't have to go back and take these pictures. I promise you they don't. They've, they've looked this thing over, studied it, probably crawled up all over it, and probably already dissected it. How do we know? I mean, they could just cut the thing in half, I'm sure, somehow just move the thing apart and just spread it apart and really go into the composition of what that's made out of. Um, so I think they've already got the pictures. They just gave us the crap, you know. Um, yes, the rock's uh, composition was described by NASA as unlike anything they have seen before, but that hardly means it is more than a rock. Um, as most of the focus on Mars missions is to determine past hab habitability, it seems very unlikely that would that what would have been one of the greatest scientific discoveries of all times uh, of time would so easily be written off as a stray rock that just happens to have unusual characteristics currently neither chief administration bolden nor nasa have released official statements on the lawsuit which you can read in this ent um, entirety below which is true it has this you can either click on the link right here law, the law, uh, nasa lawsuit or you can just read it right here and it's got the whole thing there. So either way, you know, you can jump on the thing and check it out yourself. I like this because here's the thing. To me, um, if this does in fact, um, like I said, if he actually does win this in court, that's huge. I mean, that's that really, that's huge. Now, whether they're going to come out with it or not, um, I mean, the guy's not an idiot. If you're a scientist, I mean, you don't even have to be a scientist. You can compare. If you went, just Google the, uh, you know, you know, fungi or fungus, um, you know, in, in Google, you'll find that type of thing, you know, growing here on Earth, and you'll see there's a comparison. It's pretty darn close. So, um, and I would love to see that, and I would like to get some kind of collaboration going with uh, my buddy Will over at What's Up in the Sky 37, as well as Christian over at the Olympus guy. Um, I should have called my Mars guy, uh, but, you know, this way we could all fit in. But, you know, I'd love to be able to get and bring it to some kind of news uh, channel uh, and really try to really... Because here's the thing, if everybody got together and said, yeah, we're tired of hearing the lies, boom, 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 and just start hammering away at uh, NASA, something would give. I mean, it's one person doing it, and people go, hey, he's, he's a nut job. More people do it, and all people jump on board and just really start attacking him. I mean, what would happen? Who knows? Maybe it'd get blown off. It's hard to tell. Um, but I think that's pretty cool. Uh, you know, if I hear anything, uh, and you know, if any of these guys send me the link, I will definitely pass it on to you guys. Or if I see it, I will definitely pass it on. Because here's the thing. I want to know. I want to know the truth. Um, 
Uh, and speaking of the truth, I wanted to address like a, a comment or two that I've got lately. One guy was like, uh, boy, you're really seeing these cars. You're really into this car thing. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah, actually, I am. Um, I'm not picking these things and pulling them out of my rear end. They're actually in the pictures. Um, and you can, and if you, and if some of these people would bother to look at the links that I give them, it's in the bottom of my descriptions underneath my videos, they would actually go to NASA, see these things for themselves, download it, and they'll see these things themselves. I mean, it's really not, uh, excuse the pun, rocket science, but, you know, uh, you got to go back to originally when these rovers, both the, you know, Spirit and Opportunity in 2004, 2005, they were put there on Mars in different spots. Um, and of course, Spirit became a dead stick in 2010. So, and the other one's still going strong. The opportunity is still rocking and rolling after 10 years. So, you know, if I was the owner of this particular curiosity, let's say I put all the money into it, it's my money, I put it into it, I'm not going to just command it to just say, hey, why don't you just go take a ride around, just see what the heck, you know, just take a cruise around and see what's happening. No, I landed it there for a reason. I knew what's there. And they could tell what's there by the first flybys in the 70s, even earlier than that. Um, by these Viking uh, orbiters, or flybys, rather. Um, and then they had the Hubble. You know Don good and well that that Hubble is multi-million dollar uh, telescope out in space. There's uh, nothing to distract it. There's no atmosphere in front of it. It can see that thing. I guarantee they could probably see a fly on a buffalo's rare end on Mars with that thing. I mean, heck, you could see millions of light years out in the galaxy. I mean, what the hell? So, you know they've seen this stuff up close, and they said, hey, get down there. Build these things. Get these things over there on Mars. Let's take a close-up. So you know that the second they, this thing hit the ground running, you know it went right after what it was going after. Don't tell me these things are looking for rock samples. Don't tell me it's looking for uh, organisms. How long does it take you to find organisms? I mean, hell, the opportunity's been out there for 10 years. You're telling me it takes that long to find if there's any microbial life? Come on. You know, I don't buy that. I'm not a scientist, but I don't buy that. I mean, you know, you got to throw a little common sense into this. And... If this was true, if it is Mars, then that is a road with vehicles on it. Um, yeah, guess what you're going to find on the road? Vehicles. Um, you're not going to find cows. You know, you're not going to find houses. Common sense would tell you that. So I think they landed in a spot. It's a, it's a, uh, and I've said this and multiple people have said this about Mars. It had some kind of major cataclysmic event. It's like totally just stopped everything in its, in its, in its path or in its place. And there you go. This is the reason why you're seeing these things just laying strewn about in mechanical pods and stuff that looks like it's been melted. St you know, st uh, stone stuff that's been, bol you know, just completely obliterated. So, um, and I've got another video coming up. It looks like that road actually goes around this small hill. And you can look at the latest Sauls. You can see the Curiosity coming up on this little hill. It looks like it goes behind that little hill and to the right. It looks like another road. It looks like at the center of it's actually caved in. Like the ground's like totally dropped out from under the road. And you can see what it looks like part of the road on the right. looks like it's actually broken off. And it looks like, believe it or not, more vehicles on there. And I'll show you this. And you're just going to go, what the? I mean, you can almost plainly see these things. But that's another video. And that will be coming up soon. Um, and I've got another one coming up just after this one. So you guys can check this out. Um, we'll be rocking and rolling here again. So as always, guys, I uh, you know, I've always said my... Uh, I'm over 500 subscribers. I've always said numbers don't bother me, you know, and I, they, I don't really pay too much attention. But what I do love is that it's numerous people wanting to know the truth. I don't know the whole truth. That's what I'm here for. I'm trying to see this. And, um, you know, there was guys that's like, you know, saying, oh, well, you know, you see things in pictures. You know, you're just trying to see these. No, I'm not. You know, and again, these rovers and then, these scientists behind these rovers are not just going to look at a random silly rock. Again, they're there for a reason. They want to see what this thing is up close. So when they see this, you can guarantee they're going to either manipulate this thing if it is something of any value or something that would blow the theory out of the water that Mars is a cold and desolate planet. Um, yeah, they're going to hide it. But they have to, you know, the, the pictures, it's not like they're taking a million pictures everywhere. They're taking pictures. So if there's, they go, well, we got to show the people, you know, these latest pictures. So they got a doctrine at the pictures, get rid of whatever's in there. So, um, you know, like I said, I invite anybody to check the links out below my pictures um, and, and right near in the description. Check it out for yourself. It's right from Na uh, NASA JPL. Check it out yourself, man. Um, I invite anybody to do that. You'll come up with your own, uh, you know, conclusions, what you think this stuff is. Um, yeah, it's in the pictures. So anyway, guys, like I said, I mean, I love my subscribers because they're hardcore in this stuff. And, you know, they throw me some links periodically. Um, they're telling me they're finding different stuff on there. Um, I break it down. Do we all know the truth of what the stuff is? No. 
Never claimed to. I can tell you what it looks like, but that's it. But you guys, I do appreciate it. I love that there's numerous people wanting to know the truth, at least interested in finding it. So that's what it's all about for me. That's why this channel's here. Um, the people that just are going to just throw silly comments, you can go ahead, but it won't be on there long. So uh, you'll just be banned off the channel thanks to Google. It's just ban, boom, one hit of the button, your history. Um, if you want to go there and leave a, an adult comment you know, and say, well, I don't believe that's what it is. I think it's this instead. I'm all for that. And like I said, I've always, that's why I say leave a comment, comments whether you believe yay or nay, it doesn't matter. But anyway, guys, thanks, guys, for being there. Appreciate that. That's what it's all about. Find the truth. But anyway, guys, I will have another video coming up today. Do appreciate you guys watching. I will see you next pick.